And welcome back, one and all, to our type command. Nothing new for R&D since last mission, so let's just go right into the next one. Outside the Devil's System, we've reached the edges of vital space. Everything looks so different from our home system. This region of space seems to be a complex system of fixed stars and a delicate gravitational balance. The crew silent as they look out on the bizarre spectacle seems a lot. The familiar emergency buzz is sounding. Our battle far from home is about to begin. Best of luck, men. New Frontier. So, look at this deployment zone. It's actually a pretty big one. Now, now we're back in normal space now, so capital ships will take up their usual sort of like scrunched together block. But here, let's bring out the Vanagon for one one more deployment here. And get all the ships we can. This will be a fun mission. So, Principality, Flame Force, Technical Force, Defense Force. C force and a standard A force. All right, craft modules and get some striders in the back. Oh, actually, right, you go here. R three, get back in formation. Go ahead, screw it around, striders. Bring in the R Future and the R9E Midnight Eye. And now it's time to play Connect the Force with, with, with the R craft. So, Warhead. Warhead's connected to the C Force. Arrowhead's connected to the A Force. Graystone's connected to the Defensive Force. Albatross connected to the Tentacle Force. And lastly, the Principality with its Flame Force. Alright. Rock. Okay, so mission objectives. We have one spoil in the map, short enemy flagship, lots of vital gen on the map here, so we'll have to mine at least some of that stuff. I'll get at least a hundred if I can to forward the anchor force unlocked from the last mission. So let's get forces attached and get underway. All right, Midnight Eye, scout ahead. Let's see what to work with. No Bido on the radar yet. R3s, pop into your ship here. All right, and we got a Strider in there too for safekeeping and for maximum surprise. And advance with the Vatican. All the craft, move forward. A really big map. I don't exactly trust the huge spaces that I have here. Who knows what Bido is lurking in them? I said they're running into the dense debris field here, slowing them down. Alright, no targets, no targets. End of the turn. A lot of Bido out there. I don't know where the spoil is too. It's probably right in the middle. Hopefully. Alright, Vanagund. Actually, no. R R90, move forward. Still nothing. Alright. Alright. Vanagund, move forward. And we'll start deploying R3s. Good. Our craft move forward and support. Let's keep an eye out. I don't trust this. It's way too quiet. Albatross, what is your speed? It is three. All right, you're just slow. You just hit a rough patch of debris here, slowing you down. Well, Move up the future to protect 
the Midnight Eye, and that is it. All the targets in range. Ending the turn. Still too quiet. Okay, that rock is mined out. I thought so. All right, there's the uh, there's the spoil. Still too quiet. I don't like this. I'm not gonna run for that spoil yet. Bomber up there. Vanagon, you were kind of stuck, I believe. Yes, you are. So, you're staying there. That's right. You'll pick, you'll pick up the R3s in the next round. So, you're awaiting. Alright. on the radar. Okay, good news is we got, we got charges on most of the ships. Alright, R3 is packed back into the van again. Yeah, yeah, unload. <clears throat> Other R3, use well. Enter and unload. Proceed to the next rock. Which means I gotta move the future. Well, alright. Battlegen cluster on a Battlegen, and still nothing on the radar. They must all be clustered back here. Again, move forward. No, we'll keep you in waiting for now. <clears throat> All right, Albatross, you're just you're just hanging behind, aren't you? Catch up, little guy. That's it. Passing the turn. Come on, Bido, show yourselves. Oh, hello. All right, Ulach. Ooh, this is a new Ulach form. They have missiles instead of ring lasers. Not bad damage, really, against a force unit. All right, what do we got? Ulach form M. Tracer missiles with a nice radius of range there. Damage is not bad. And they are blocking intercept type missiles. Okay. So that'll be, that'll be hard, to da hard to damage then. And hello, Gains Mark II. I'm waiting for you to show up. Let's get rid of that charge, shall we? Nice. Good job. Future, let's move you just a, one more notch forward. Just so we can hit anything behind these guys. Last wave, fire! Peak lasers of doom. One survived. Should get rid of the gains though. Yep, gains is gone. Ulash took heavy damage. Ooh, we have a new unit back there. All right, let's scoot you back. A claw claw. Okay, this is a new Bido unit. Very evil alien looking for sure. Claw jewel, arc laser, laser claw, 
and a forward facing, forward attacking claw wave. Alright. All in all, a good, a good Bito ship. And the claw force with a decently powered force ram. Nothing terribly special though. Pretty standard force unit. Still, we can hit with some fire. Alright, well I can get the force unit, but not the ship behind it. Yeah, you're definitely not within range of anything. Okay. Alright, here's the plan. Principality, move up and fire, literally, away. Eat wave to go-go. Oh, good. Got an Ulog behind that one. And force unit is nuked. And it is off the radar. Still has his force, his uh, wave cannon though. So that might be trouble. All right, and then we'll have Grace now move up and dense wave the Ulach. Lovely tone there. All but one again. Albatross, you are in no position to really get up there, so you just have to wait. Warhead, move up. You need you to start engaging. Okay, so that claw claw that is right about here or so. Probably try to use its uh, wave cannon on the Principality. So I move the warhead here. Should be fine for a strike next round. Arrowhead Black, move up. Not within range of anything. Start deploying some R3s. The other R3, I think, can't really move anywhere. And high interference costs here. Right in the middle, right in the middle of the, of the spiral arm, so it'll, move, it'll get nowhere fast. Might as well start. Craft module, get out there. And Strider, let's get you into play for a pot shot. No, I'm not going to waste a nuke on a, on a one unit Ulach. Can't get any closer than that for a, for a Tracer? No? That's a, that's a bad again. No? Okay, well, alright. I could have moved up. I can move up here. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, any turn. Let's see what happens. Okay, Ulas goes out to the Flame Force for some minor damage. Uh, counter with Helix Fire. Wipe it out. Nice shot. Now where's that Claw Claw? Oh, oh no. Oh, there's a bunch. Oh, there's a bunch, and they all have charges. There's four of them above, and probably and one below. Ooh, okay. This just got a little nasty. All right, we can work with this. Let's hop over, wait, where's the R9? There we go, R9. Let's see what we can see here. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's a lot of these. Ooh, okay. They can probably see the our the arrowhead black if I move up there. I can attack the force unit. Alright, that must be the one that I got well no maybe not. Alright, let's get rid of your charge. It's 
It's a copy. These are Meltcraft. To copy other units once per battle. These are all. Oh wow. Okay. Forgot about these guys. So by itself, it's useless. But it can copy another unit and take out the unit's qualities. Well, this has got to be more interesting. Alright, let's blast the force unit. Bridge gun, or main body gun, go. Crunchy to crunch. Bow wave. Take it out. Oh, I was afraid of that. It survived. Oh, okay. Not bad. Actually, pretty minimal damage, really, for... Oh, okay. That was pretty stronger than that. Okay, Meltcraft, I'm really not concerned about. They are just annoying little things. <laughs> All right, split wave, wreak some havoc. This is going to hit everything. Okay, not great on the damage. Okay, equal exchange. Heavily damaging the force unit and all battle craft. Oh, good, got one. Okay, probably a bad place for the future there. But at this point, it's just mop up duty. Alright, let's get some missile support. Of that pow armor. Oh, it has three points left. All right, fine. Just keep the R3s moving forward while salvaging. More, more biogen. Okay, our future. Let's dock you. All right, good. You're in. Albatross, your attack range is not going to be enough to hit that unit. Go to the Color Claw. Fire, fire, in space. And melted. Excellent. Albatross, move up. Crawl up, really. Grace note, get up there as well. It's a lot of range of anything. Let's get rid of that force unit. See, claw claws, what's your turnaround time on your charge? Three turn, all right, not concerned. Kaplui. All right, that's it. Ending phase. Oh, it was a decoy. I was worried about that. Oh, no. I walked right into that. It's a compiler out there. Okay, minor damage. Good job being a shield there, Force. That's what you're meant to do. Let's counter with a Bido shot, or with a normal shot. Okay, no damage. That Kumbala is just sitting out there charging its gun. Oh, look at you. Wave cannon formation. All right, well, let's fire. Here it comes. 
Melt craft melted. Two claw claws are off the board. Excellent. Okay. Keep on a cell of a gene. I gotta get eyes on that uh, on that compiler out there. Oh, we have a Nozari here too. It looks like Nozari might be a decoy. I want to want to move you any farther north. Let's keep you where you are. All right, uh, we need to assemble. Do I have anything for balance? No Belmos. You got most of your charge, Grace Note. Let's start scooting you up. Albatross, keep on a trucking. Principality, you're building your charge. Alright, let's go restock some Belmos. And some Warheads. All right, future, get out there. You're done. Principality, stay where you are. You, uh, that midnight eye is going to be within a range of a lot of stuff, though. All right, it's going to take two rounds of attacks. It looks like missiles, the missiles, and then the main body. Let's give something else to shoot at. All right, that's it. Passing the turn. Yes, good. You have made a tactical error. I would have gone after the Midnight Eye. Ugh. It's a good thing you're kind of dodgy there, Principality. Hooray! Victory music! Yeah, okay, this is this has gotta be a decoy. Okay, a little crazy angles there, but otherwise not worry about it. Alright, you are not within range of the main guns. Alright. Anti-air laser against that carry morphon. I'll bet that's the decoy. There's really no, really no, no good way to tell, honestly. Yeah, trace laser to the face. Fire all weapons. Yeah, minor damage. Okay, bridge gun, fire. Good, okay, it's getting down there. Okay, Grace, no, you got a full charge. Wait, future in charge. You'll have your charge at the end of your next, at the end of this round, I think. What's your speed? Maybe you can get to it. All right, Principality, pull back. Grace don't move forward. Prepare to fire. Good. Alright. Let's do it. Dense wave. Charge for you, bud. All right, down to 78. Get up there. I'll trust. Let's get some more salvage. Keep on a crawling forward. You're full on the Battlejet. Yes, you are. All right. 
I'm gonna pull back on the Midnight Eye. Pull forward on the future and do another strike on the Nozari. Almost. That's it, out of ships, ending turn. Come at me, Vito. <laughs> you didn't like that beam very much, did you? Alright, Grace Note, you can do it. Dodge! Okay, well, some of you. Oof. Okay, Grace Note, pull back. Pull back for repairs. R3, crawl forward and repair one. This is the decoy? Maybe there is no decoy. Maybe it's all in my head. Alright, future move up. We're gonna point blank photon pedo strike this Nozari. Blow it to pieces. Okay, good. Okay. R9 Black, get down there. Prepare for engaging against, engaging against the compiler. Grand again, move forward. Because you are within range of the Nozari here. Main bow wave. Fire! Heavy damage. Okay, we supply or salvage. Okay, all ships engage. Missiles go. Take it out. Twenty one hit points, maybe. Yes, got it. Alright. No chance of a decoy for you. All striders move out and engage. That compiler's got to go down. And then we'll pull back the principality for repairs. Alright, Albatross, let's see if we can get you up there. There it is. All right. What is the best angle for you? Yeah. Okay. Impact wave. Go. Boom. Nice shot, taking out that wave cannon. And coming missiles. Crunch, two down. Oh. Hello, little power armor. Oh, I want to point something out here with the compiler uh, here. Amusingly, these missiles are actually fat missiles. They are actually <laughs> autonomous lipid missiles. Missiles of vital fat. It's kind of gross. Also, this is a version 2, it looks like. It's a bit of an improved model from the last compiler that we bought. Alright. You know, Grace Note, just sit and be repaired. Principality, move up for repairs. I think you're full, aren't you, little craft mug? You are. No, you're not. Okay. Salvage. Alright, what's in range of a nuke? The main body? No. The missiles are. The power armor is. Can I move you any closer? 
All right, good enough. Get rid of that missile launcher. Okay, a few guys through and destroyed. One less fat missile launcher to worry about. I don't even worry about those terribly much. Warhead move in for repairs. Strider move down. Are you within range of a nuke? Yes, you are. You nuke the main body. Okay, 50 damage. Below half. Alright, what, what else do I have? Um, Albatross, move forward. Point blank. Snake Ray. There's a snake in my Bido. Okay, again, good damage. Grace note. Move forward by one. Yeah, you'll be a few more turns before your charge fills up. But the arrowhead black has a charge. Let's bring you down. You might not get a shot off before this thing goes down, but it would be cool if you do. Midnight Eye, you're good where you are. Our future, head down and engage. The harvester shot to the power armor. Good. All right, that's it. Going after the uh, to the Vanergrind, huh? 20 damage. I am not concerned. Alright. Well, if you move up there, where's the main bot? Main body's here. Can you move behind the red rock? No. You need your bow move. Alright, so let's move you forward, R3. Another repair on the grace note, you'll have your charge at the end of this round. Let's move you back, restock, R3 move done, and resupply the bell. Done. RE move up. Okay, Black, here's your, here's your time, time to shine, and you are not within range of anything. Because the main attack point is one hex lower on that on that grid. So let's move here. Stingray, go out to the main body. 38 getting down there. You do not have a nuke. I can't get anything else within range, I don't think. I think the warhead still has. No, you don't have your force. Just move it down. Well, okay. How about a contact missile to the gut? I it causes terrible indigestion. And hit points left. Okay, our future. You are our hope on this one here. <laughs> okay, blast wave. Take it out. And there we go. Mission accomplished. Only lost two units. I call that a win. Untouchable royalty. I will gladly accept my crown. Biogen cluster, an accumulation of Biogen crystals. And a new captain. Excellent. And a new squad. And a new remote.
And a new versus mode. Nice. Successfully broke through. We won our first battle in vital airspace. I must say, I let out a deep sigh of relief when the last ship went up in flames. Or wave cannons. But we must keep our guard up and be ready for anything. Let's we'll keep this up all the way to our destination. According to the our analysts over here in the R&D division, there is an abundance of Biogen, which isn't found anywhere back home. We should gather as much as we can to aid in unit development. We also managed to rendezvous with Mathena and Soom, both of whom have been missing in action since the first Vital Extermination campaign. They've got the devil's luck if they managed to survive this, in this hellish place for so long. We couldn't salvage their ships, but it's good to have extra men. It may be wise to take this opportunity to reassign units and strengthen our formation. We must be ready for whatever waits ahead. Alright. R&D, what do we have? Oh, I saw that. Oh, we have an upgrade to the craft module, Mark II. Not yet. Okay, so it's got a big cargo unit on its back. Alright. Yeah, neat. Um, otherwise, stat-wise, it's pretty much the same unit as before. Same radar, same speed, same evasion. Same weapon, even. Not that it would use it much. But it's an occupier, repair fill, salvage set. This thing can do basically anything. Just like the original one can. This one holds a lot more selenium and other resources though. Basically put, I don't want to upgrade. Not yet anyway. The craft module Mark II it takes up two spaces as opposed to just the one that the R3 uses. Uh, so the R32 here is a good investment if you're going farming for materials. Otherwise, I don't want to have one out quite yet. So, nifty, but I may have to put that off till later. Oh, also something else I've been wanting to mention here for a while is the interesting name for the Principality. So this is kind of a kind of a digression here, but the Principality here, its name actually comes from uh, Christianity. Uh, it's part of the Choir of Angels, actually. See, there are certain uh, choirs of angels out there, and the Principality is, is one of a group of four Principalities, Thrones, Dominions, and Powers. In our type final, you actually have ships that correspond to a few of those as well. I believe the Principality, uh, Dominions, and Thrones all, all, all show up. And also have one called the Wise Man as well. So, a very interesting little, little side bit of trivia is that this ship is actually named after an angel, the Principality. Anyways, let's move on and take a look at the next mission here before we uh, end here. Okay, defeat enemy flagship. And what does our terrain look like? Idle branch. Okay, it's another it's another corridor looking mission. It's a lot of interference along the way. Especially this gap right here. Alright, so R3s will definitely have to be inside of a warship when traveling through this area, because otherwise they will just get lost and just crawl through. It's gonna be kind of tight to uh, tight corridors here, so not bringing in the Heimdall. We'll bring in the Vanergen, though. Alright. Well, we will tackle that mission next time on R-Type Command. Thank you for watching.